I mean, this is a real deal, folks. Alcoholism ain't no good for nobody. I've lost a ton of money, a ton of friends. But I still do it. I'm probably never going to quit. Take this shit to heart. Take this video to heart. This is the fight of your life, bro. This is the fight of your life. It's, it, it ain't no joke. It is not a joke. Let's tap in. Playing with half a money at a team. Holy shot, knock a nigga off his elf. But I ain't no ordinary type of G. You dig? Cause I am the. Yeah, organizer of this organization. Hey, what's good with you? Welcome back to another video. Walk one, gang, gang. If you're new to the channel, this channel is all about providing you a daily dose of edutainment. My goal is to make you laugh, brighten up your day, but also give you knowledgeable insights that you can apply to your own day to day life and make it better. Hence the term edutainment so what's the full scoop what's the 419 on this whole alcohol debate is alcohol really that bad for you i mean just a little happy just a little honey just a little sip of bacardi all that stuff right i ain't gonna let him show me up <laughs> and as you know you may or may not know i personally have never drank alcohol I've never interacted with it. I've never been into that whole Henny scene, whatever it is. The reason for that is because I've never wanted something outside. I've never wanted a substance to control my life. You know how much money you probably you probably spent in your in your life buying alcohol for yourself or for your friends. You probably probably spent a, a good amount. Um, how much time you spent drunk? How much time you spent? Getting drunk and then getting over the hangover the next morning or the next couple days, it's a lot of time and money wasted and energy that you will, will never get back because time is constantly moving forward. Now, I have never experienced it myself, but this is the real deal, the real full scoop on the life of an alcoholic and the reality of what alcohol abuse can do to your life. Let's cut straight to the footage. Uh, this is my little take on alcoholism. Of course, I've had a few beers. So take this shit to heart. Especially you young people. If you see this video. When I was 13, I went to my cousin's wedding reception the first time I ever drank my mama left for an hour and a half told me to be good I said okay she come back I was 13 years old drunker and shit fell down fly stairs woke up the next morning first thing I did is threw up in the toilet and that's the first time I'd ever said I will never do this again I was 13 I'm 40 now and that's been my life alcohol by the time I was 16, I was pretty much drunk every night. 16. I got twin boys who are 16. They've never touched it. They don't smoke. You know, they cuss a little bit or whatever, but I was 16. I drunk every day. And I've done that for years. Cost me a lot of friends, a lot of good friends. You know, am I getting drunk, saying the wrong shit? Rent relationships. The way it is. My kids come along. I slowed down for a minute. But then I get, got back in my routine. You know. Go out to bars. Fucking gamble. Drink. Spend my paychecks. And over the years, I've made a lot of money. I have. And you know what I got to show for it? Nothing. Because when I was a juvenile, up in my early 20s, I was in and out of jail all the time. Contributing to minor, minor in possessions, you know, DUIs, had a couple of them. It ain't no fun. Now here's the deal. Through all them years of gambling and drinking, in 2002, between 2002 and 2004, I had a pretty good job. I was driving forklift, working 70, 80 hours a week. Made a shit ton of money. You know, my paychecks were about 600 a week. 
I had a couple hustles on the side, you know, so I was bringing home probably eight to a thousand a week. You know what I got show for it? Nothing. Because you know what this motherfucker would do? I'd go to a club and spend three or four hundred bucks a night. Party my ass off. Had a good time. It's not worth it. You know, I've been doing that for years. Well, 2012 or 2010, I got locked up. Got into it with the old lady. She called the cops. You know, didn't touch her. Never did, but got the domestic assault. I was in jail 30 days. When I got out, guess what? She, her, and my kids were gone. Moved out of state. It didn't get no better. I went two years without seeing my babies. Two years. What I do? I drink a lot. 18, 20 pack a night. A few shots hot, damn. You know, 10, 15 Jager bombs. Yeah, I did. Ton of money. Wasted two years. Just broke all the time. Staying with my mom. You know, being a bum. That's what I done. I was so bad into alcohol, I tried killing myself twice. Back when I was 21, took a bunch of pills, got put in the hospital, put my stomach. That ain't no good. You know, swore I'd never do it again. Well, 2011, guess what? I was down and out, hadn't seen my kids for a few months. I took a bunch more pills, a shit ton, trying to end it. And you know what? I woke up next day feeling like shit. And I mean, I took a shitload of pills. Most people would have died. So I got up and I went to work, you know, hurting. I've always worked. My mom says I was the most functional alcoholic she's ever met. I said, what do you mean? She said, I ain't never seen anybody who gets as drunk as you and goes to work every day. Well, I, you know, I've got to pay for my habit. It's just the way it is. Now, I've done this, you know, since I was 16, I'm 40, 20, what, 24 years, I've been drunk, well, in 2012, I got back with my family, you know, I didn't drink a drop for six months, everybody's proud of me, I was proud of me, my kids are proud of me, well, so I thought I was cured. You know, I figured I'd have me a couple beers one night. And you know what? Turn me back into a drunk. Here I am right now preaching to y'all. Drinking. I mean, this is a real deal, folks. Alcoholism ain't no good for nobody. I've lost a ton of money, a ton of friends. But I still do it. I'm probably never going to quit, you know. I'm not religious, so I never tried getting help from the church, from preachers or whatever, because that ain't me. I did go to a couple AA meetings, and you know what they done when I was there? Told their stories about what they done when they was drunk, and, you know, talked about drinking. Two AA meetings I went to. When I got out of there, I was shaking so bad I had to have a drink, so that's what I did. But here's a kicker. I'm 40 years old. I live in a one-room apartment, and I work at a gas station. Now, for all you young folks who's trying to do right, who wants to do that? It ain't no life. I'm struggling, and I'll keep struggling. Yeah, I like my beer. You know, just part of it. But it ain't no good. If you've got a problem at a young age, get help. Nobody wants to be around drunk. Like I said, I've lost a ton of money, ton of friends. Done stupid shit. I'm not even going to go through the details because the list is too long. But nobody needs that. But I'm telling you right now, take it from a guy who's been there. 25, 24 years I've been a drunk. Besides six months. I was locked in a mechanic for 30 days. I couldn't drink then. So you're looking at seven months not drinking. Out of 25 years, 
the rest of the time, it's just part. It's a big party. You know, everybody thinks it's fun. Oh, I've had a blast, you know. I won a lot of money pool hustling. I was a pretty good pool player. Now I got to where I was such a big drunk. Guess what? I still gambled. Lost my ass. Always played the Cherry Masters, you know. Love going to casinos, get drunk. You know, do good when I first get there, get drunk. Lose my paychecks. That's not a life. I'm telling you guys now. Every young person out there, every old person, I mean, take it from me. The alcoholism, it's not good. You know, I've been there, done that. And I'm going to keep on doing it, probably. You know, my twin boys are going to be 17, and guess what? They don't like me no more. Not because I ain't a good person, because I care about everybody. I don't judge anybody. I do what I do, but they don't like being around drunk, so they don't talk to me much. My four-year-old, oh, she's crazy about me. She loves me. You know, days I get her, which ain't very rare these days since I moved out. You know, we'll watch zombie movies. You know, I'll play with her dolls, play with her little people. We run around the house shooting fake zombies. That's what she wants to do. But guess what? She's going to grow up. She's four. She's going to grow up. And guess what? She'll realize she don't like me neither. I mean, this is the real shit I've ever put on here. Sorry the video's a little long, but if you got a drinking problem, try to get a grip. Don't don't be me. You don't want to be 40 and stuck in an apartment and work at a gas station. Life's better than that. But this is my thought, you know. Thought I'd share with you guys. I'll share everything else. But it's the truth. I'm just old drunk. You know. Chat and Charlie. Drinking again, that's what I do, but uh, anyhow, you know, don't judge me, because I don't judge nobody, you know, I know there's a lot of drug users out there, and there's a lot of bums, and a lot of this, and a lot of that, and I ain't judging nobody, nobody's perfect, nobody ever be perfect, just remember what I said, please, if you got a drinking problem, I mean, I'm not the cure, but if you need help, there's people out there to help you. You know, I'm just doing what I do. So, anyhow, hope y'all have a good one. Later. Now, I don't want this video to just be something that you watch, you get a little, little bit of motivation, and then you relapse to alcohol again. As you're watching this video, take action right now. Check out my free mini course, my free mini series that walks you through scientifically proven methods to guarantee that you do not relapse to alcohol or any other substance or addiction you may be struggling with. I don't want you just to be a bystander and just watch. Take action, click the link in my description and pin comment, tap into the free mini course and let me help you. A personalized approach on how to overcome your alcohol addiction and take back control of your life. Whether you think it's just affecting you, it's more, it's more than just affecting you, it's affecting everybody around you, your, your family, your friends potential love interest all that stuff your money your time I mean, your health bro yo there's so many things that alcohol and other substances affect you that you don't really take in and, and deepen and, and and realize if you don't control it right and a lot of times we think we think we have control over it we think we have control over it but try going a week or two three weeks a month without drinking it and let me know if you don't feel that, that sense of addiction or that feeling of like you're losing something if you can go if you can go, if you can go a month without feeling like a, those urges to, to drink then you're good but most people if you built a habit of what of drinking alcohol and you see the effect in your life in a negative manner you probably can't stop it so check out my mini course free mini course link in my description and pin comment i appreciate you for watching this video hopefully his story gave you a little bit more insight into what you can learn from him and how you can avoid that happening to yourself because the biggest the highest form of learning is to not learn from your own mistakes but to learn from other people's mistakes so that you can improve upon their own situation for your life but yo god bless much love peace and joy namaste and always remember if it doesn't feed you don't water it what you're watching what you're listening what you're eating because our, because our diet is more than just what we consume it's more than just what we eat it's everything that we consume yeah, doesn't feed you, don't water it. God bless. Deuces.